hello and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, West Ham Loza. Um, my name is Lauren, I'm a massive West Ham fan, I love everything football, so I thought why not start a YouTube channel and talk about everything I love here, everything that's going on, what I'm going to get up to in the football world and yeah, I'm excited to start this new journey. So my first video today, I'm going to be showing my West Ham collection, excuse this mark on my neck. It's literally just appeared, I have no idea. That's Chester, my cat. He's a massive West Ham fan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you everything West Ham that I have, which is stuff I've collected in like the past year or two. Um, I won't lie, before 2019, I wasn't really that into football, but I went to my first ever game at the London Stadium against Athletic Bilbao. I went to... Upton Park twice when I was younger to see Everton and Middlesbrough but yeah I've been loads of times since and I just love everything West Ham. I'm gonna start off showing you all my shirts um I've got a couple of old ones a couple of new ones so be right back they're not all football shirts it's t-shirts as well to start off I have this one so many people got this off of Etsy of a really good company that made these awesome t-shirts in a cartoon design next we've got this shirt i think my cat wants to be in the video if you know me well then you know my absolute favorite player on this planet is lucas fabianski so i had to buy this one from this season it is so comfy i got it without the sponsor it's the only shirt i've actually got without a sponsor and i absolutely love it so i recommend Getting an unsponsored shirt if you haven't already. I've got this one from two seasons ago now. Um, I went to the stadium about a month ago to do a stadium tour, and when I was in there, they had this shirt for twenty pounds. So I got one for me and my brother. So we can wear a matching shirt. Next up, I've got this training jacket from last season i absolutely love the training stuff i've got a really cool story to tell you after another goalkeeper one this is what i'd love to see fabianski in again the green one is classic but yellow is my favorite color so i chose this one next i've got the away shirt from last season um, my mum got this for me for Christmas with my name on the back. I got 20 because I was born on the 20th of May. I just really like the number 20. I wasn't too keen on the away shirt, but I thought I'll get it with my name on. That'll make me wear it. And then I've got the plain shirt from a couple of seasons ago. Nothing on the back. And then I've got this old school one which I saw in the West Ham shop and I thought, I like you, so you're coming home with me. So there are all my West Ham shirts and I'm going to show you some cool little bits that I have. First up, I've got my AirPod case. Absolutely love that. I'm always using my AirPods, so everywhere I go, I'm like, support West Ham. Yeah. Yeah. So one of my favourite things that I own is this. I actually, I love it so much. I actually won it in a competition. So I joined football Twitter in, at the end of December 2020. And one of the first Twitter pages I found was a company that made these. They're not on Twitter anymore. They said whoever retweets this i'll pick one person to win a crest of their choice and i won i won so i'm so happy with this it's one of my favorite things i haven't hung it up yet because i'm waiting to buy a house well i'm gonna try another west ham room if i can get away with it i've got this mark noble frame which also will be going in my west ham room i've tried to hang it up here but it does not want to stay on the wall so i'm not risking breaking that so yeah, you can wait. So the next thing I have, you might have noticed it's moved from over there. Put a new little feature in. Um, my dad is a massive West Ham fan. 
the other week he was at a boot sale and instead of keeping this for himself, an official signed photograph, he gave it to me, which is honestly, oh, it made my day. There we go. Mark Noble, Andy Carroll at Upton Park. I think it was the last goal that Noble scored there. Um, yeah, it's officially signed. It's still wrapped because that will be getting hung up in my little West Ham room. I will be getting my West Ham room, by the way. Yeah, I do have loads of my stuff, but it's quite boring, like puzzles, mugs. My cat's got a West Ham collar. I've got a calendar. So I said I was going to talk about the training kit. Something amazing happened. I think it was when England beat Ukraine 4-0 in the quarterfinals, put us through to the semis. It was such a good night. I was so happy. And when I got home that night, I had a message from a footballer who plays for West Ham. And I was like, oh my God. The day before that on the Friday, was it Friday? Um, West Ham released some photos of everyone that's back in the squad that is training. And I saw Darren Randolph and Nathan Trott wearing the brand new goalkeeper training gear. And it really infuriates me that they don't sell it. I mean, I know it might not be in high demand, but can they just do a couple of bits for the people that want it? Apparently not. So in the past, I've messaged West Ham saying, do you sell the training kit? And they've come back saying no. And I'm like, can you just send me one? And they said no. I've had other people go into stores and ask if they have anything. It's always been no, no, no. So I messaged the three goalkeepers of West Ham United, Lucas Fabianski, Darren Randolph and Nathan Trott. And I thought, one of them has to reply to me. I don't think it would be Fabianski because he's, he's too big time. Nathan Trott is just not really active on Instagram. But Darren, Darren came back to me. And when I got home that night, I was literally like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, I couldn't even remember what I said to him. I was like, why the hell has Darren Randolph messaged me? Um, and I remembered. I messaged him saying, hi, Darren. Please, can you tell me why West Sam don't sell the training kit, it's all I've ever wanted. So I'm going to try and get to a game towards the end of next season, see if I can grab it off him then. I'm so excited, I can't, honestly, why does stuff like this happen to me? I feel like I'm so lucky. Um, but yeah. So that's basically everything I want to talk about in my intro video. I hope it's not too boring. I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. I gained nearly 200 subscribers without even having a video uploaded. And thank you so much to every single one of you. As I said in the future, I'm going to be on podcasts. I'm going to vlog match days. I'm going to go to the store and get the new kits. I'll just film some really cool content. Any transfer news I have. Although... I'm really slow at that, but I'm going to try and get better. I'm going to try and research it. Um, yeah, hopefully West Ham signs some players soon and release the kits because they just seem to take ages to do everything. I'm looking forward to seeing Suchek, Kufal, Sofal, however you say it, um, Bryce, Fabianski, Yamlenko. I'm excited to see them all back at training, have the squad together. So yeah, I've really, I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't, tell me, tell me what I can do better. Please leave a like, leave a comment. Um, I think my next video, I'm going to try and do a Q&A so you can find out stuff about me. I can tell you stuff about West Ham if you don't know much about them, if you want to know. Um, I can talk about stuff like the Fantasy Premier League, which is coming back soon. I'm so excited. I don't mind talking about other teams. And yeah, if anyone wants to come on, and do a little collab with me um let me know but yeah thank you so much for watching my first video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one goodbye